Welcome. This is the 23rd annual Band Books Week Vigil. I am Professor Paulette D. Kilmer, Dr. K to my students, and I teach in the Communication Department. We started Band Books 23 years ago, didn't know we were starting anything. We were helping the ACLU and Thackeray's Bookstore do their 24-hour readathon, and my students and I did the graveyard shift, and then we went to breakfast across the street. Barry's Bagels were next door at that point in Westgate, and they would bring us over coffee and bagels sometime in the middle of the night. It's very fond memories, although it's all those years ago. Then we came to campus, maybe three years into it, and I decided to see if I could get a celebration going at UT. And the first few years were really hard, but then it took off and whoa, look at where we are now. Due to COVID, we are virtual and that's kind of exciting. We're on uh, Facebook and YouTube and in Zoom. So very pleased with Arjun Saberhal, Ali Imani, and Sumitra Srinivasan for making these things possible. Because I'm not a tech guru at all. Sadia knows, Sadia Farouk knows some things, but these are also the people on our coalition, plus Laura Mitchell and Laura Mitchell was my student a few years ago, and she's an alum of UT, and she's been with us for quite a while now. We have one other one, Josie Schreiber, who's taking care of her two little kids, both under three. So she will come back when her kids grow up a little bit. But I am very blessed to have these people on our coalition. We have another person in the room, Dr. Mochi Solatiamiu, who from the very beginning has been a, just a great friend. When we are in a room, she comes and takes the guest book around so people can sign it, and she's relentless. They don't get away. We are very, very fortunate to have Dr. Tiamiu's support. She also buys books every year, and this year was no exception. She went over and bought gift cards for us to give away. So thank you, Dr. Tiamiu, for all the years, friendship and help with this event. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You are welcome. Now, banned books matters. It matters because the battle for the First Amendment isn't ever over. There's always someone who wants to tell us what to think. And the easiest way to do that is to limit what we can read. So this event is a vigil because we need to stand up and bear witness both to incidences of book banning, and also it's a chance for us to acknowledge the wonder and magic that reading bring to our lives. I doubt if any of us really think very much about reading. It's like breathing, it's just natural. But if you live in some parts of the world, you can be executed if you're reading, and particularly if you're reading the wrong holy book, or you're reading some novel that the government doesn't approve of. So we are very fortunate in our country that our First Amendment allows us the right to read. It's really a human right. Everybody, wherever they live, should be educated enough so they can read and then encouraged to read in books and magazines and newspapers, 
made available so that they can read. There are lots of ways to censor. And there's a lot of joy just in opening a book. You open a book, I know when I do, I open a book and it takes me to places I cannot go otherwise. It introduces me to people and to ideas that are new and exciting, and it fills my soul. So let's give a great big cheer. Read on, read on. Never stop reading. Read on. <laughs> <laughs> and with that, we are very blessed this morning to have with us another longtime friend of our event, Enrisa Cohen and her husband, Ed Lingen, for years. One or the other or both of them have provided the concert to close the event, so we close on a joyous note. And this year, the whole family will be there. So I'm really, that's tomorrow afternoon at three. I'm really looking forward to it. It's always fun. And Risa is very kind and just does programs for us too. And her program today is, is uh, Old Man Trump. So take it away, Risa. <laughs> 